Over 95% of the world uses gas and diesel combustion engines now. And even by 2020, 90% still will be. That leaves only 10% using alternatives. Cars that run on electric, hydrogen, corn, or even french fry oil have potential. And we're working on alternatives too. But the solutions most car makers have come up with so far either offer up the driving exhilaration of a couple squirrels on a treadmill, or are so expensive they're just not realistic for most people. To really affect global fuel consumption and emissions right now, you have to use something the globe actually uses right now. Rethink the combustion engine. Make it better and accessible to everyone, and you'll make a difference, a big difference. How big? Consider that current combustion engines waste about 70% of the fuel's potential energy. That's a lot of room for improvement. Our overall goal is to get 15% better fuel economy and a 15% improvement in low mid-range torque from the same engine, all on regular fuel. Two 800-pound gorillas stood in our way. The first was figuring out how to capture more energy from the fuel. To do that, we needed to raise the compression ratio by placing a dome on each piston. Because the more you squeeze the air-fuel mixture, the more energy you get from the combustion. But a high compression ratio usually ends up causing knock, which is when the air-fuel mixture ignites too soon because it's too hot inside the chamber. And that's no good. So we had to cool things off. Using some huge engineering muscle, we came up with innovative solutions to do just that. Like a high-pressure, six-hole direct fuel injector that fires gasoline into the cylinder at 3,000 PSI to help keep it cool. And a volcano-like pocket in the piston that improves combustion efficiency, giving burning fuel a place to grow without wasting energy heating the top of the piston. To get all that hot exhaust out without it shooting into the other cylinders, we added a longer exhaust manifold used in race cars called a header. Everyday cars don't use headers because of the emissions problems they create, but our advanced direct injection system solved that issue too. That's how we got more energy from the fuel. The second gorilla was making sure we weren't losing any of that precious booty on its way to the wheels. So we reduced friction inside the engine by a whopping 30%. How? By sweating every little detail. We've improved oil pump efficiency by 74% and water pump efficiency by 31%. Reduced friction from the big bouncy bits like the pistons, rods, and crankshaft by 25%. Reduced valve train friction by 54% and even reduced the effort the engine exerts to suck in fresh air by 13%. When it was all over, we had done what couldn't be done, achieving more torque, better performance, and higher efficiency. Sky Active Technology from Mazda. The future of driving begins now. We build Mazdas. What do you drive?